Explore, compare, and find your car at mancars.com. Man, what a deal. WKYT First Alert Weather, alerting you first every weekday on Facebook Live. No interest for up to two years. Happy holidays from Furniture World Superstore. Hurry in to Rod Hatfield Chevrolet for a red tag sale going on now. Get up to $10,000 off a 2024 Silverado 1500 RST Crew Cab 4x4 or take advantage of 1.9% APR. Get up to $5,000 off a 2024 Equinox Premier or 1.9% APR and take advantage of our lifetime powertrain protection. Hurry in for our red tag sale now. Rod Hatfield, find new roads. At home or on the go, stay informed with the WKYT News app, a must-have. With push alerts for breaking news and weather, download the WKYT News app today. Merry Christmas. I hope you're spending some time with your family over the holidays. Tonight on WKYT, some last-minute shoppers cramming into stores to get those final gifts before Christmas. And the holidays are all about spending quality time together. How one community is making sure everyone enjoys this very special time of year. Plus, while a white Christmas is likely out of the question for us here in Kentucky, we're digging back in the archives to take a look at years past. This is WKYT News. Good evening, and thanks so much for tuning in tonight. And Merry Christmas Eve. I'm Kelsey Soto. Kentucky State Police are investigating an officer-involved shooting in Anderson County. Officials say it happened around 5 Saturday evening in Lawrenceburg. While officials did not provide a location, viewers did send us some tips indicating that police were spotted outside of the McDonald's along West Park. One man was taken to the hospital with unknown injuries. Lawrenceburg police did ask KSP to take over that investigation. Firefighters in Livingston making quick work of a fire that broke out in the woods on Saturday. Officials say around 5.30 they were called out to Horse Lick off of White Oak. There, about an acre burned, including that vehicle you see in the photo. Crossroads Fire and the Rockcastle Sheriff's Department also assisted on scene. A Wayne County man is in custody following a standoff Saturday morning. Deputies were called out to a domestic violence call on Black Road after a juvenile female called the Wayne County 911 Dispatch Center saying her mother was being hit and choked. The suspect, Crockett DeHigh, was known to deputies being a convicted felon. Deputies say once they got there, they were able to negotiate the release of the female. He did eventually come out and was arrested without further incident. Now he's facing a list of charges, including unlawful imprisonment, assault, strangulation, and possession of drug paraphernalia. He remains in the Wayne County Detention Center. The Corbin Police Department is asking for the public's help in finding a man who is wanted in regards to questioning about a fraudulent check being used at a business. Officials sharing this photo on the Corbin Police Department Facebook page. They say if you have any identifying information about this individual, you're asked to contact the Corbin Police Department at 606-528-1122. Turning now to our weather, it's been a rather pleasant day outside, just a few clouds in the sky. However, don't expect it to stick around. We are looking at a wet and rainy Christmas. Let's head on over now to First Alert Meteorologist Ben Bedos for our forecast. Yeah, but not seeing a cold Christmas across our area, that's for sure. We are looking very mild out there right now. I mean, we were at 6.30 in the evening on a Christmas Eve, and it's still 61 degrees in Lexington. 55 at Danville, 59 in uh, Somerset and in London right now, 57 in Williamsburg. We are 48 Monticello, 57 Hazard, 63 for Jackson, 52 for Mount Sterling, 61 in Moorhead, and 60 degrees in Harlan at this hour. We look at this evening's forecast, and temperatures are going to continue to work into the mid-50s at least to start the evening, and we'll fall down into lower 50s. As we work through this evening, it will be partly to mostly cloudy as well and staying dry at least for the overnight tonight. That changes as we go into tomorrow. We're talking about a rainy and breezy Christmas across our area as we are going to see temperatures starting out into the lower 50s at least uh, to start out the day, climbing up into the mid to upper 50s and periods of rain certainly arriving by the late morning hours into the afternoon across our area. So take a look at the first little radar network right now. We are seeing some more clouds starting to build into the area. That's, of course, out ahead of our next system. That's going to bring that rain tomorrow. It's certainly at least the rain right now is still a little ways away as this cold front crosses the Great Plains right now into the Midwest and the line of rain that's associated out ahead of it. 
that's again going to get towards our area as we go into the day tomorrow. And we look at the future satellite and radar. We again are going to continue to build clouds as we go through the evening into the overnight hours. Then we go into the day tomorrow, and here comes that rain coming across the area, especially as we go into the, again, late morning, early afternoon hours. We'll keep the rain around as we go throughout the day, even into the evening. We'll start to see it line up a little bit as we go into at least the evening hours into the overnight tomorrow night. But still, we'll even have some lingering showers around as we go into the day on Tuesday as well. And after that, we're talking about temperatures starting to drop and even some wintry weather maybe as we go into the later part of this week. I'll talk more about that. Coming up, Kelsey. All right, Ben, we'll be checking back in with you. And while it is Christmas Eve for some of you, and you know who you are, holiday shopping is still underway. WKYT Samantha Valentino talking with some shoppers in Lexington who are battling those last-minute rush in crowds. More than 140 million people spent the Saturday before Christmas Eve shopping in stores and online. But for people like Justin Lacey... We came yesterday and it was... It was a mess. I mean, everybody was trying to get done early. Christmas Eve shopping was world's easier. So I didn't make a very comprehensive list yesterday, so I guess yesterday was the first trip and this is the follow-up. Unfortunately, this wasn't the last, last-minute shopping trip for Lacey. There was one thing on his list he wasn't able to grab. I wish they sold White Claw before 11. <laughs> I was, I was asked specifically to get that, and she told me she couldn't sell it to me. So you so. might have to run back out later. Yes. Oh, my God. Hopefully that'll be quicker, though. I forgot it was Sunday. <laughs> Across the street at Target, Kevin Barry Hyundaian and his son Jaden are doing double-duty last-minute shopping. This guy actually turns one tomorrow, so we're doing both Christmas and birthday shopping last minute. Barry Hyundaian says they, too, were out shopping on Super Saturday, but many store shelves were empty. So we decided to give another round today because all the, you know, deliveries way too behind at this point. But thankfully, this will be their last shopping trip until after Christmas and Jaden's birthday. I think we're done. I think we got what we needed. In Lexington, Samantha Valentino, WKYT. That traffic and that parking, I can only imagine. Now, if you need to do some last-minute shopping, there are a few stores that are still open today. Here in Lexington, Meyer and Whole Foods are open until 7 o'clock. Target remains open until 8, while Walmart, Kroger, Costco, and Sam's Club have already closed for the day. All of those stores will also be closed tomorrow for Christmas. Community members in Somerset getting together at the Lake Cumberland Farmer's Market for an annual Christmas Friendsgiving meal. That meal was hosted by Nikki Branscombe and her father, Terry. With the help of volunteers, they were able to provide Christmas Eve meals to those in need and even offer some clothing items just as a way to brighten some days. You know, we're just helping people, and there's a lot of people that need help this time of year. And we can just do a little something to brighten their day and give them a meal and maybe some warm clothes for them to get through the winter. You know, and that's what it's about. They're also providing meals during Thanksgiving, and they hope to provide even more throughout the year. We'll have much more from that Christmas meal coming up tonight on your news at 10 and 11. And with Christmas just a day away, many are getting ready for their very own favorite Christmas traditions. While many people do celebrate in different ways, the volunteers at the Somerset Christmas Friendsgiving meal, they all shared one similarity, and that's spending time with family. Just like being with family, I love giving gifts um, like to my family um, and seeing like just them being happy. My family plays little games and stuff like just as like we're gathering with each other, so those are always fun. It's it's been just us um, two and our dad for a really long time, and on Christmas Eve we also we always watch Christmas Vacation, <laughs> and we drink out of the moose cups. Yeah, we do drink out of the moose cups. Now, if you don't have any family traditions of your own, it's never too late to start. You can try caroling, cooking a meal together, baking cookies, playing a game, or dressing up in matching pajamas. And it's looking like no white Christmas for us here in Kentucky, but the tradition for white Christmases goes much farther back than many of us might think. WKYT's Alexa Minton explains. It's the night before Christmas, and while many Kentuckians are dreaming of a white Christmas, our forecast is showing a wet Christmas instead. In fact, it's pretty uncommon for Kentuckians to get a white Christmas like the one we had in 2022. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Kentucky on average for the past 10 years has only had around a 10% chance of receiving a white Christmas. 
Focusing in on that climate data for specifically in Kentucky, there's three areas that have had the greatest chance. The first of which is Warnock, Kentucky, with around a 12.8% chance on average. The next is Heidelberg, Kentucky, with around a 13.3% chance on average. And finally, we have Olive Hill, Kentucky, with a 13.6% chance on average. All three of these locations are planted firmly in the Appalachian Mountains, allowing elevation to help out their chances of a white Christmas. Here in Lexington, the greatest snowfall ever recorded on a Christmas day was seven inches, but that was back in 1935. So with chances like these, why do we always say we're still dreaming of a white Christmas? A White Christmas was first popularized by A Christmas Carol, written by Charles Dickens back in 1843. But the idea truly became universal from Urban Berlin's smash hit movie musical White Christmas, which was released in 1954. With the sweet voices of Bing Crosby and Rosemary Clooney, it was hard for most of the country to not wish for snowfall on Christmas. So while this year's forecast might not have those festive flakes, we hope everyone will still dream of their own version of a White Christmas. For WKYT, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Alexa Minton. We can always try again next year, right? There's a group in Pulaski County who is gearing up to give out some food boxes. Help the homeless. They've collected food boxes from the IGA and Nancy. Customers were able to buy those boxes at checkout and then leave them at the store for pickup. Founder and President Jessica Luster says this helps them better serve the community. The generosity from Nancy IGA helps carry us over in a season where there's a whole lot of need, especially due to the weather. Uh, plus the holidays put a lot of families, a lot of parents in a financial bind. So to be able to help with a little bit of supplemental food is amazing. Luster says they were able to get more than 150 food boxes to hand out. She says it's incredible to help those in dire need, especially around the holidays. They are the stories that inspire us. Tonight at 1030 on the CW Lexington, join our Amber Philpot for the Commonwealth of Kindness. Amber showcasing some of the people who make Kentucky great. Commonwealth of Kindness is tonight, 1030 on the CW Lexington. And we do want to give a very special shout out to our service members overseas who are unable to be at home to celebrate with their families this holiday. So here's a special message from some soldiers from the Commonwealth who are stationed in Poland wishing a Merry Christmas to their families. Happy holidays, everybody back home. My name is Staff Sergeant Marcus Burke, 2113 Transportation Company, Maintenance Division. Hey, this is Sergeant Jason Vetrano with the 2113th out of Paducah, Kentucky. Just wanted to extend a very happy holidays to everybody back home. And we here at WKYT want to say thank you for your service and Merry Christmas. Well, we're talking about a rainy Christmas across our area. Have your full forecast. Now, what's to follow after Christmas? Coming up. We wanted to remind you about signing up for our school and business closing notifications. Scan the QR code you see, and it'll take you directly to the WKYT School and Business Closings page. And we'll notify our viewers whenever you have a delay or a cancellation. Speed up your drive with First Alert Traffic. Mornings on WKYT. At Batteries Plus, we bring power to your life. Can your car battery survive another winter? Come to Batteries Plus for a great selection of auto batteries, battery testing, and installation. With over 100,000 square feet of premium outdoor inventory on display, WKYT's Kentucky Sport, Boat, and Recreation Show is back February 1st to the 4th at Central Bank Center. Visit KentuckyBoatShow.com for more information. We will see you there. WKYT's Kentucky Sport, Boat, and Recreation Show is back February 1st through the 4th at Central Bank Center. Visit KentuckyBoatShow.com for more information on Kentucky's premier outdoor event. We will see you there. 
Everybody knows that for over 20 years, North Broadway Auto Sales has been the best place to buy a used car. You know the slogan, at North Broadway Auto, everybody rides. But what you may not know is North Broadway Auto Sales also buys cars. If you have a car, truck, van, or SUV, and it's in running condition, we want to buy it. Any automobile, any make, any model, any year, any color. At North Broadway Auto Sales, if it runs, we want it. On New Circle Road, North Broadway Auto Sales, 293-2353. The holidays are right around the corner, and Air Raid Trampoline Park's gift card special is back now through December 31st. Enjoy family fun for less on the Ninja Courts, Arcade, Dodgeball, Wipeout, and so much more. This Christmas, give the gift of the most fun in southeastern Kentucky at Air Raid Trampoline Park, located just off I-75 in London. Visit airraidky.com for details. from Girls on the Run. Never give up. Beyond this gate is actually the border with Ukraine. We've seen people not just opening their hearts to Ukrainian refugees, but their homes. Where will you go? I'm here for you. Merry Christmas and happy holidays from the WKYT First Alert Weather Team. Download the WKYT News app today. The world is celebrating Christmas Eve, and Santa Claus is already out on the move. However, it's not a happy time everywhere in the world. Wendy Gillette has more on this year's big day from New York. There is an excited hum among volunteers handling Christmas duties with the North American Aerospace Defense Command, tasked with tracking Santa. While Santa doesn't file a flight plan with NORAD, we know from his historical flight path that he usually reaches homes between about 9 and 11 p.m. And the rule is, if you're not in bed, he's going to pass by. This giant sand sculpture will greet Santa in India. In Madrid, Spain, thousands of festive runners took part in an annual charity run. But it's not such a merry Christmas in other parts of the world. Security was tightened at Cologne Cathedral in Germany amid recent government warnings about the rising threat of Islamist violence. In Jerusalem's old city, bells tolled above empty streets and stores because of the war between Israel and Hamas. Usually it's a hive of activity with all the pilgrims that come. Um, but this year it's very solemn. And in Bethlehem, what's normally a crowded, festive time of year is anything but, as Christmas events were canceled. The whole world is celebrating Christmas uh, this year, but not Bethlehem, not the birthplace of our Lord Jesus Christ. In questa notte santissima. Pope Francis led Christmas Eve Mass and a prayer event from the papal apartments, renewing calls for peace in the Middle East and Ukraine. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. Jerusalem's Latin patriarch also calling for peace while walking to Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. Well, it's been a mild Christmas Eve across our area. Still pretty mild out there tonight. Let's take a look at the WKYT tower cam overlooking downtown Lexington. Uh, it's got a good deal of cloud cover, but uh, it is pretty comfortable out there right now considering uh, what time of the year it is, of course. It's uh, mid-50s is going to be as we go to the start of the evening and then falling down into the lower 50s as we work through the evening as we'll have partly the mostly cloudy skies across our area. And the latest on Santa, well, Santa continues to get closer to the area. Well, now he has made his way up to England. Durham, England is his latest stop so far, only a couple hours away from uh, our area. So uh, not too long. He's had quite a journey so far today as well. When he gets to our region, he won't need to be having a rain jacket or anything because it's going to stay dry at least when he crosses uh, through Kentucky later tonight. But we go into tomorrow after Santa has passed. We go to Christmas Day. Well, that's when we're going to need the rain jacket. So we're going to be seeing uh, a rainy uh, day for tomorrow, starting out in the upper 40s. Not the first thing in the morning, not necessarily raining. But by the time we get the late morning hours into the afternoon, we'll see that steady rain across our area. As temperatures will be generally into the mid to upper 50s for our highs. But for right now, I mean, we're at, what, 645 on a Christmas Eve, and we're at 61 degrees still in Lexington, 54 in Danville, 57 at Somerset. We are 48 in Monticello, 57 into Williamsburg. At 59 in London, uh, 63 in Jackson, 52 in Mount Sterling, and 61 in Moorhead. About this time last year, we were good 50 degrees colder than where we are now. So quite the different Christmas Eve this year versus last year. 
Of course, we were into the teens only for highs for Christmas Eve in 2022. And we take a look at the first little radar network, and we are seeing some clouds continuing to build into the area. But uh, uh, again, things are staying dry. We do have at least a cold front that's situated to the west of us, and there's also some rain along that, uh, anywhere from Minnesota to Iowa down to Missouri, into Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and even some snow across the northern plains. So eventually this system is going to cross our area, and that's going to be for the day tomorrow. So we take a look at that hour by hour forecast. Again, dry for the rest of the night tonight, but then we go into the morning hours and here comes that rain moving into the area, especially as we get the afternoon. We'll be high, seeing highs into the mid to upper 50s. We'll have that rain continue to push uh, across the area through the afternoon into the evening hours and uh, even in the overnight we'll still have at least a few scattered showers around. These scattered showers will stick around even as we go into the day on Tuesday as well, especially across western Kentucky, but most of that rain will be coming during the late morning and the afternoon hours uh, tomorrow. Uh, but we're going to start cooling down as well behind that. But look at that seven-day forecast. We'll be into the mid to upper 50s for tomorrow, mid 50s for Tuesday, lower 50s for Wednesday. It'll be partly cloudy. And then we look at Thursday and Friday, and that's when things get interesting. We could see perhaps a mix of rain and snow showers and temperatures cooling back down. Highs only around 40 degrees for Thursday and Friday into the low to mid 40s next weekend. So we'll be kicking off uh, 2024 on a chilly note. Like, well, Maybe we should be this time. time of year. So, yeah, we're just catching up finally. Winter's yeah. had a late start. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Ben. Well, ho, ho, ho. Brian Milam is with us on this Christmas Eve because there's a basketball wildcat who got a pretty sweet Christmas NIL deal. Yeah, Antonio Reeves has been cashing in on the court and off the court with an apparel deal. Christmas is about family. And the UK football team and family has a father son combo who gladly talk football and break down video together. That's on the way. But before we head to break, tomorrow night's Powerball jackpot, $638 million. Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $73 million. We'll be right back. What are you learning from Girls on the Run? Never give up. Beyond this gate is the border with the train. Where will you go? I'm here for you. Keep an eye on Santa as he finds his way to the bluegrass this Christmas Eve. WKYT's Santa Tracker, brought to you locally by Mulberry Builders. Explore, compare, and find your car at mancars.com. Man, what a deal. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in a car accident, call America's largest injury law firm. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients, to deliver more for you. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Rod Hatfield Chevrolet in Lexington, Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram in Winchester, and Rod Hatfield Used Car Factory in Nicholsville would like to wish everyone happy holidays and a happy new year. Hurry into any of our locations for year-end clearance savings, and with over 800 vehicles, you're sure to find the car, truck, or SUV you're looking for. Now serving Central Kentucky for 20 years. Come see for yourself why so many people have made Rod Hatfield their number one choice for all their automotive needs, or just visit us at rodhatfield.com. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $30 on the BG56 CE Blower. Plus, get a free carrying case, chain, and hat with the purchase of select steel chainsaws. Real steel. Find yours. In my heart, I knew something was wrong with my little girl. She was always tired and spent a lot of time in the bathroom. When the pediatrician said she had stopped growing, it was clear. This wasn't just stress or growing pains. A friend told us about the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. They really came through and connected us with a specialist. Now we have a diagnosis and a plan. You know your child best. Go with your gut. Visit SpillYourGuts.org to learn more. I have a feeling you're about to tell me a great story. You've got a new name, CBS Mornings? Yes! You guys did that. Yeah, we did. Why were you so emotional? This is not a secret. Why is it not a scandal? Original reporting, exquisite storytelling. A trusted source so people can have the right information. We're bringing more of that magic that Sunday morning is known for to every day of the week. Welcome to CBS Mornings. Merry Christmas from our family here at WKYT to yours at home.
the letters NIL certainly has changed the landscape of college athletics, but there are benefits of those three large letters. Just ask Antonio Reeves, the super senior who scorched Louisville for 30 points earlier in the week and now has an apparel deal with Reebok. KSR mentioning today that uh, UK is a Nike school, but athletes can sign NIL deals with whomever they choose. But when it comes game time, they got to wear the school swag during those games. Reebok Reeves leading the Wildcats and scoring at 18 points a game. The Christmas and holiday season has so many special moments, and family is almost always in the center of that focus at this time of the year. For UK freshman defensive back Ty Bryant, family is never far. Ty's father, you'll see him on the right with the L's down, that's Cisco. Played for the Wildcats in the early to mid-1980s as a receiver and had some highlight reel moments, catching passes from the likes of Bill Ransdell and Randy Jenkins. Ty, on, uh, he's on the other side of the football, likes to tackle a little bit. And the football bond between the two is special because Dad is always coaching and teaching his son what his football eyes see from the bleachers. He does a really good job, but, you know, sometimes, of course, just him being my dad and him also playing football and having a football background, we do talk football. And, yeah, he yeah, he tells me some things that he sees that, um, you know, I need to get better at. And we watch film together sometimes, too. Really? Yeah, a few times we do. What's that like? Uh, you know, it's him just all up on the screen, just pointing at the screen. And, yeah, um, if it's, like, after a game or something like that, uh, if he feels like I could have done something better, then, you know, things get a little amped up. But other than that, it'd be, it'd be cool comic collecting. Been there and done that, folks. The Bengals are nursing some wounds to their pride after the Steelers smoked Cincinnati. 34-11 Saturday in the Steel City. Bengals quarterback Jake Browning passed for 335 yards, but you can also add three interceptions to those stats as well. You know, fortunately, uh, when you lose, it only counts as one. It's unfortunate when you win that it only counts as one. Um, so, you know, I'm going to have trying to have the best week I possibly can. I don't know what the playoff and all that is. Have I've been kind of ignoring that in general. But I'm just really trying to find a way to improve throughout this week and uh and learn from this and, and show that, you know, I'm, there's a lot of quarterbacks that have had bad games. I obviously had a bad game. Some guys who didn't have bad games. These guys last night at Fairdale High School in Louisville, the Great Crossing Warhawks, became the 29th team from the Commonwealth to win the King of the Bluegrass Tournament, which began way back in 1981. I was there for that inaugural tournament. The champion from Georgetown becomes the first titleist from the 11th region to win the state's most prestigious basketball tournament since Madison Central did it with Mark Cuisesto and Keneal Jenkins and Brandon Fritz in 1998. Great Crossing beat Little Rock Central of Arkansas 54-47. Last year, the Warhawks lost in the finals of the KOB to eventual state champion Warren Central. Malachi Marino was named most valuable player. Teammates Vince Dawson, Junius Burrell also making the all-tournament team. If you win that tournament... You're pretty darn successful, usually in the month of March. That's it for sports. We'll be right back. Here at WKYT, we're wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas. Best in class service. It begins with a friendly hello and ends with a goodbye. It considers you, your time, your needs, and your budget. Where personalized solutions start with considerate people. People who don't just talk at you, they listen to you. Offering transparent pricing on any service you need or want. At Don Howard, our people come from a place that believes plumbing, heating, and air services are people services. Because you can't understand how to service a home if you don't respect the people who live there. Don Howard Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Respectful, reliable, service reimagined. Local Taco, a unique Tex-Mex menu you can't find anywhere else. Experience our large variety of tacos, savory enchiladas, and delicious quesadillas. Culinary creations like Korean barbecue, lime chicken, southern fried chicken, smoked brisket, and more. Plus seafood and vegetarian choices. Serving organic and locally grown ingredients, our food contains no preservatives or MSG. Local Taco is proud to be 100% owned locally by Lexingtonians, so we can better care for the community we serve. Join us for happy hour margaritas and other daily specials. Local Taco, where the simple pleasures of Tex-Mex meet the traditions of southern cuisine. Hurry in to Rod Hatfield Chevrolet for a red tag sale going on now. Get up to $10,000 off a 2024 Silverado 1500 RST Crew Cab 4x4 or take advantage of 1.9% APR. Get up to $5,000 off a 2024 Equinox Premier or 1.9% APR. And take advantage of our lifetime powertrain protection. Hurry in for our red tag sale now. Rod Hatfield, find new roads.
You know, we got a couple more hours before Santa gets here. It sounds like the rain's going to hold off for him, but tomorrow's a different story. Rain's going to hold off for him for, for us tomorrow. <laughs> Not too much. So uh, Get those yeah. rain boots out. <laughs> At least Thanks it so won't much. be very cold. That's so. true. It's going to be warm. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you at 10 o'clock over on the CW. Have a good one. What are you learning from Girls on the Run? Never give up. Beyond this gate is the border with Ukraine. Where will you go? I'm here for you.